Hello and welcome to Notepad++ Beginner's Training Course by Alex21C. This lesson is all about installation of my customized version of Notepad++. So let's get started. I have compressed my customized version of Notepad++ using an utility called 7-zip. So in order to extract the files from the archive, you need to have 7-zip installed. Let us download both the softwares from the official websites. Here I am on 7-zip official website and it is offering two boundaries to download. First is the 32-bit, second is the 64-bit. Depending upon your operating system, whether your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit, you can download a one race accordingly. My system is 64-bit, so I will go with second one. I have already downloaded the binary, so I don't need to download it again. But for you guys, just download it. If you are not sure whether or not your system is 32 or 64-bit, just go to Explorer, go to Properties, and under system there is system type telling your operating system type 32 or 64 bit with 7zip downloaded it's time to download my customized version of notepad plus plus so here i am on my official website and you can see the website is under development phase so you are seeing just a minimalistic version of this website just go to download choose notepad plus plus choose lx21c customize notepad plus plus and then version 1 again i have downloaded this stuff so i need not to download it once again but you guys download the stuff with all this stuff downloaded, it's time to install the 7-zip. Just follow the wizard and install it. Next, extract the files using 7-zip from the archive. And then we will see. I have also supplied installation instructions files. If you need help about installation, you can check out this file. So, I am just dumping this file inside my temporary Notepad++ which I am using for the screencast. With 7-zip installed and archive files extracted, now it's time for setup. I have decomposed the setup into two phases. First, we will dump the Notepad++ portable into the custom installation directory and configure its core files. Second, we will register the Notepad++ register icons and all supported files. So, let's Follow the first phase, dumping Notepad++ portable. Here I am on instructions, installation instructions files and the first phase is dumping of files. First directory creation and dumping. So just open the notepad and put it aside. Choose the installation directory where you want to install the Notepad++. I just choose my local disk D and create a directory called lx21c customized notepad plus plus and c customized okay directory is created so I just split the window into two halves Here is the directory which I have extracted earlier from the archive and I just 
dump the notepad plus plus portable directory to the my installation directory then next I need to configure the XML file called config.xml so just open this file inside my temporary notepad plus plus and you can choose whatever text editor you want here I need to search for MLC need change so I just hit search find ok the first thing which I need to change is my npp all file backups directory but right now I haven't created the directory so I need to execute two bash files first is the sanitize yes I wanna execute sanitize.h second is make backup files directories ok this file created backup and npp all files backups directory so what I just do, I just copy this path and open the config file here it is just replace this value ok the second thing which I need to change is default directory path so for this what I do I just go to my installation directory choose notepad plus plus portable and copy path I want this directory to be my default directory so again open the config file replace the value with the path copied done next we need to configure the stylus.xml file path again open my installation directory choose stylus.xml here it is copy this path trim the opening and closing codes copy again and replace okay these are the three changes I just made and save the config.xml file so I've done with the step 1 next is stamp the register the file supported and the icons ok so the second sub part let's finish this stuff I am here on my setup directory which I have extracted earlier now I go to notepad plus plus register icons directory execute the web script dump whole directory executed and now it's just copied the npp rise icon directory into your program data now I need to configure the registry files first I open installer and uninstall the directory go to res files go to res npp extension that is registry notepad plus plus extensions and open it in my text editor you can choose text editor of your choice to add in the registry files here I need to change two things first is the SID that is security identifier which is unique for each user and second is the notepad plus plus binder file path so first let's fetch the security identifier for my current windows account and here is the command I just open the DOS put the command hit return it returns the SID security identifier key 
I just copy it up, paste it in Notepad. Done. If you don't receive your SID using this command, you can try another command which is this one. This will return all the SIDs for the all uses on your machine and copy accordingly. So the next thing which I need to copy is the Notepad++ binary file path. So I go to my installation directory which is alex 21 c customized Notepad++ forward slash Notepad++ portable and copy the notepad plus plus binary file path okay binary file path again I remove the opening and closing curly quotes one more thing I escape the backslash with the double backslash slashes hit search and replace find single backs backslash replace it with double backslashes replace all that's all so now it's time to edit the registry files I just copy the SID go to the register npp extension files and hit search and replace paste my current SID which I have copied from the class window and replace this value with this one it replace all second thing I need to change the notepad++ binary file path this is the value which I need to change so I put it here I want to replace this with mine path so that's all replace all what's wrong with you Okay, sorry. Make the adjustments. So I want to replace this value. So search for this value and replace this with my path. Replace all. Okay, search for this value. Okay, okay, need break. Need break, break. Okay, let's replace the SID value. Here is the value which I need to search for. Open the registry file, search for this value, and replace with mine SID value. Paste, replace all. Done. Next, I need to change the binary file path. So just need to search this value. And replace it with man binary file path. Paste. Replace all. Done. Save the registry file. And I'm done with editing, editing registry file. Now before executing, I need to make backup of my registry. So I open the res edit. Then go to file. Go to export. I want to export all of my registry into my D drive, asking folder. Give it some name, my res backup. Save. And here it is. You can see size in, is increasing, and the moment its size stop increasing, that means all of the register is dumped increasing increasing and 
I think mine is 300 MB plus so I bet till all the dump is completed and you can later use this backup to import your registry settings if something goes wrong during installation so it'll stop that means all of my registry has been dumped now it's time to install the registry file which we have configured earlier so I just go to my setup directory go to no don't go to setup directory I need to go to my program data directory so just let's go to program data data then find npp res icons here it is first one and go to installer and uninstaller go to res files and here it is res npp extensions just hit mars yes yes okay so i need to create the test directory again so i just execute this best file generate test files done and i need to refresh the explorer to see if the changes has been made and you can see all these files which are inside test directory seems to have valid icons which i have created for the my customized version of notepad plus plus and i if open any one of file i can check whether or not these files are linked with my customized notepad plus plus directory binary file i just open the php file it's opening now just close the my temporary notepad plus plus again try to open it up done now let's check it path go to task manager open the location and here it is you can see the path it is pointing to is lx21c customized notepad plus plus directory which is i have created earlier for the my installation now with all this it seems that uh, installation has done properly and uh, for uninstallation uninstaller you can follow the steps inside installer and uninstaller files and add it to register file accordingly that will hopefully uninstall your notepad plus plus portable from your system and so that's all for today's lesson and you can check out more helpful resources at my official website or notepad plus plus official website have a good day